Sheen Shop. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Today, we will be taking a look at all the boon skills Outward has to offer and explaining where to get them. The basic idea behind boon skills is you are to use a small amount of mana, life, or stamina to buff your character. You will then have additional abilities you can use by comboing other skills with these buffs. Elemental buffs increase your damage and resistance in a particular element. Buffs like Enrage and Focus let you deal more impact and physical damage. All of these skills can be grabbed in every single character you create, and they could really help out while fighting those dangerous beasts. Here's where to find each boon skill in Outward Definitive Edition. Cool is the first boon skill we will take a look at. This guy can be found by heading to the Ley Line in the Conflux Mountain. I was unable to get this skill without mana, so it looks like you'll need to grab at least one point. This is a staple for almost any build, however, so it won't be a problem. Talk to the second watcher underneath the ledge there, and you could buy it from him for 50 silver. Cool not only helps with cold damage and defense, but it also gives you plus 8 hot weather defense, which you will definitely need if you head over to the desert. Mist is up next, and for this one, you will need to enter Berg. Walk up the stairs and all the way into the middle of the giant blue chamber room. Cyril Turnbull will be hanging out all alone, which is kind of odd, but pay him 50 silver and you will get missed. I particularly like this boon as Ethereal is one of the strongest elements in Outward. Also take note that you won't be able to get this during certain parts of your faction quest. So if he isn't there for you, come back after you do more of the quest you're on. The Blessed skill buffs Lightning and can be found by heading over to Monsoon in the Swamp. Make a left as soon as you can here and Mofat will sell the skill to you for 50 silver. Don't forget this skill, as it is easy to miss with all the other things you're thinking about, like managing inventory and, you know, not getting poisoned by swamp water. Warm buffs fire, and you'll need to be in Levant to grab it. Simply talk to Smooth the Tailor over in the left side of town, and you can get it for once again 50 silver. I love this skill as it is a counterpart to cool and increases your cold weather defense by plus 8 when activated. So all the boons I have mentioned so far only cost 8 mana and buff a type of element. Possessed is no different, only you don't need to buy this one. Head over to the friendly immaculate in Cherisonees and ask him for power. He will give it to you for free, since he's such a nice guy. Unfortunately, members of the Holy Mission Faction Quest will be unable to do this, since the NPC's forced to kill followers of Elat, and you will be ambushed by him as soon as you enter the cave. Another way around this is to head over to the Antique Plateau and start the Bloody Business side quest. You will need to walk to the bottom left of your map and kill some blood mages to start it. Follow the clues and kill the enemies at four different locations, and the bloody corpse here will offer you some good rewards, including the Possessed skill. This is not a beginner-friendly quest, though. The enemies are quite challenging, so be sure to have your build ready by then. One skill we should also take note of here for this list is called Call to Elements. It is taught by the Cabal Hermit on the other side of Ghost Pass, but it does something pretty unique. It costs only 5 mana instead of 8, and will give you a different boon depending on where you are. Using this skill in different regions, or sometimes even different caves, will either give you one of the elemental boons, or one of the enrage and focus skills. This can be really useful if you're under 8 mana and need just a little bit to push you over for the next fight. Make sure to try it out in different areas to see what you get. The last two skills we need to talk about are enrage, and focus. Enrage will burn a small amount of your health and let you deal more impact damage. Focus will burn some of your stamina and let you deal more physical damage. 
They're both extremely useful for melee combat and only cost 50 silver. Talk to the Wild Hunter and Berg for Enrage and get focus from the Warrior Monk and Monsoon. Even mages should grab these as you never really know when you might need them. While all of these boon skills are powerful and help you win fights much more easily, they do cost something. Mana, health, or stamina. If you want another route, simply craft potions. Each of these skills can be replicated by a different potion, and most of them are extremely easy to make. Try finding their recipes while searching merchants and towns. You'll need mana to use those elemental boon skills, but grabbing one point of mana won't hurt you much, and I usually recommend players always grab some amount of mana, even if they want to use only melee. Helps in certain weather conditions and makes buffing up super easy. Don't forget to grab these skills as you visit each town, and especially don't forget to use them during a fight. They might just save your life. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you would, consider leaving a like down below, and I will see you next time.